Yo, Yo dudes! dudes. Uh, <laughs> welcome. Today we want to discuss the difference between keto and vegan. This is an amazing plant-based doctor, Michelle McMacken from NYC. Um, and she's just going to talk briefly. Like ketogenic diet has become really popular. What are your what's can it's very you... popular? Yeah. So first of all, what is a ketogenic diet? It's basically a diet that's so low in carbohydrates that your body starts making something called ketones, which is an emergency fuel that we use when we're starving. Okay. So it kind of gives you more energy or kind of... Well, so the idea is when you eat, when you eat no, very low carbohydrates, people think that by surviving just on ketones, it might have some health benefits. So are ketones fat? So ketones are just a molecule that you, your body can use for energy, especially okay. your brain, instead of sugar. Okay. Um, which is what we normally live on, glucose. So, so people, like my understanding is that people on, keto, on the keto diet are doing it to lose weight, like it's a good thing for losing weight. So what's the understanding yeah. of that? Yeah, so a lot and of what people... what are the pros and cons of keto? Sure, so a lot of people do it to lose weight and for other reasons too. And I think that um, there's actually some good things about a keto diet. So okay. the first one is you pretty much eliminate a lot of processed foods. Yeah. So especially processed grain foods, um, industrially processed foods, you, you kind of get all of that out of your diet. You don't get any sugar in your diet. Um, and you're really focusing on primarily high fat foods okay. and a, some protein. Yeah, whether okay. it's a plant-based keto diet or an animal-based keto diet, you're focusing on fats and proteins okay. um, in your diet. So, okay. um, so again, the good thing is you're eliminating a lot of processed foods. Okay, brilliant. Um, yeah, good, one lovely. thing I heard about a keto, I met a cool guy from Tanzania who was eating a ketogenic diet. Diet, a vegan ketogenic diet and he was saying he, his mind became a lot clearer I don't know what would you think about that or what's your yeah I mean I think it's one of those things where again if you get some of the sometimes people feel better when they get rid of a lot of white flour foods and a lot yeah, of really of sugary foods out of their diet they just feel better so I don't know if that's necessarily just yeah, keto just... you can do that on a vegan diet you can do that on a lot of different diets and feel better so keto can be an all-encompassing diet whether someone's a vegan or a paleo or whatever their kind of food doctrine is yeah I mean you can be on a keto diet and focus just on plant foods and okay. I actually know, you know, there's a community of people that do that. Okay. Um, it's and what are your thoughts about the health benefits of keto diet? Do you think it's good for the long term, medium, short term, or what are your views as a doctor? Well, if I if I were to just answer this scientifically, which yeah, I usually try to, which okay. I usually try to, um, the truth is that we don't really have any real long term studies on keto diets. So we okay. have a two, you know, one year studies, two year studies, maybe one that's even a year longer than that but nothing really long term the way we do with most other types of eating okay, patterns. So it's new. So if you're kind of taking you're kind of taking a chance because we don't we don't have a lot of long term science on it. The other thing is there's actually not really a population on earth that has lived truly ketogenic okay. ever. So, so they haven't lived mostly exclusively on high-fat diet right. foods. Well, we some kind of have eaten on high-fat. Eat so yeah. maybe just to break this down, so there's the science, but what about you as a doctor and as a human that eats food? Do you eat a keto diet or what's your diet? So I tend to eat, I eat a plant-based diet. So I'm eating, and in my case, exclusively plant-based. And yeah. I try to focus on more of the whole foods, so less yeah. processed foods. Yeah. And the thing I love about that is that you're getting, basically, you're getting all the protein that you need, all the fats that you need, and all the carbohydrates that we're actually building to thrive on plus you're getting fiber our dear friend fiber <laughs> you know i was gonna we say love, fiber, i love fiber which too. is actually the most important nutrient that most people are deficient in and what we need to build a healthy gut bacteria so you think the conversation is not about keto or about any of this it's really should be about eating more whole foods I, and about eating more fiber absolutely absolutely okay. when you look actually when you look at pale, true paleolithic times yeah do you know how much fiber people were eating no take a guess 60 How much? grams. 60 grams, 70 oh, grams. Yeah. That was a guess. That was, that was a guess. guess. Now, <laughs> what, yes, so 70 to 150 Whoa. grams. Whoa! To 150? Imagine. Are they pretty Imagine. much eating trees? Or so they're eating gnarly, gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, yeah. seriously. They're like, giving us a shoe for the roots of trees. They were sad. Like, they they chewed for a long time. <laughs> just to put this in context, the average uh, Western diet eats about 14 grams of fiber. 14 to 15. About 16, yeah. 16, okay. Yeah. And an average vegan might eat, like... 60 if you're eating thing. a whole food typically you get around 60 that sort of yeah, thing would be around normal and that's a great and that's a great number and yeah. and that actually so fiber is the most important nutrient for your gut bacteria okay oh yeah yeah so wow. i think that's brilliant I okay think, so like, just just to bring this back to keto versus whole food so what what would you promote or what's your just to bring this back up so are you yeah. pro keto against keto or what's your views well on here's it? here's the thing about keto if you're gonna if you're gonna try a keto diet i would recommend doing it in a, in a plant-based keto diet so yeah. focusing on the plant foods and mostly whole um, foods 
And and well, yeah, and and all whole foods as best yeah. you can. And um, I wouldn't do it long term because we just don't have long term science. We okay. don't have okay. data. So if you choose to you do feel. it, you know, some people do like a fasting mimicking diet yeah. for five days and then go off of that. But I think what really matters for the long run is what you're doing most of the time. Okay. Yeah, I think. Brilliant. And you think what we should what yeah, you, what you and, would recommend is eating more whole plant and we foods need, the vast majority of the time. And we really benefit from a lot of the foods that a keto diet excludes. So fruits. Okay. Whole grains and yeah. beans, for example. You're a high fiber, we benefit, yeah. and we, we, every study shows benefit from those. Um, yeah, of course. Longevity, inflammation, microbiome, and so forth. So if you exclude those foods from your diet, you're, you're kind of taking a chance. Brilliant, okay. brilliant. Okay. So I think there you are. To summarize, try to eat more whole foods, have a laugh, enjoy life. Check Michelle out, she's amazing. You'll find her on Instagram, VegMD. And fiber. Uh, and fiber, fiber, <laughs> fiber. So to summarize, keto, eat more whole foods. I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's pretty simple. Yeah. Beautiful, yeah. and yeah. enjoy yourself. Uh, thanks for watching, check out Michelle. She's really brilliant, great knowledge, great lady, and just inspiration. Uh, send her loads of love. Guys. Cheers, bye. bye. I think good thumbs up. There you go, Michelle. That was good. Well done, Michelle. Thanks. Good job, Brian. Exactly. You did a lot.